I got a pair of mirrors for my GMC Sierra 1500, the 2000. And it didn't come with tow mirrors, but I'm installing them because I do end up putting a lot of stuff on the back and a lot of high things. And so it'd be nice to maybe have some more visibility back there. I smacked my mirror the other day driving past the construction site. Hit a sign, so it was definitely in damage for a while. Installation is very easy. Pop that panel off, disconnect the small harness there, and then three ounces to hold it on. Any 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, air tool, power tool, uh, wrench to do the job. And maybe just pop it off. Looking back, should have opened the window. I did it for the faster side, but there's a lot of ways that it would be easier if I just open the window up. So instead I struggled. Next one goes on. The mirror just pulls back into play. So once you can finally figure out how to get there, come on. Um, oh, it's hard to watch, man. Anyways, so you put the nuts on. Super quick, super easy install. Then you're just going to reconnect the wiring harness, put the phone back in there, and slap the panel back on. This one, for whatever reason, the wiring harness, or wire, just the wires, are much longer than they need to be, so you have to kind of coil it up. It is a heated mirror, and it does retain um, like power mirrors, however it only goes left and right, there's no up and down feature that the old one had. Not super concerned about it, I don't mess with my mirrors too much. But, it's a deal breaker for you. Um, my little uh, M12 electric ratchet. Got it's, it's new, so it's pretty slow by hand, so I was bummed out about that. Yeah. The panel's kind of keyed, so you just put it in there, it snaps into place. Quick operational test. There you go. Just kind of how far the old one and the new one stick out. It's just a little farther, definitely a lot more of a profile. I'm, I guess I don't use trailer mirrors a lot, but it's whatever. This is the installation from the outside. Again, panels comes off, pull the foam out, super quick and easy. Just gonna do those three bolts, and there you go. Super quick install. Um, all you need again is a wrench and maybe a flat blade to pull that panel off, but that's essentially all you really need. There was that like kind of foamy piece you see there. I don't know if like didn't come with instructions. I kept it in there just for, like a water seal. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go there or not, but I just put it back in there. You said I have kind of three positions. One is it'll lock kind of forward, which is not useful at all, um, but it, it'll lock there. It locks into the regular place and it locks kind of a, like a parking or storage version. Um, operational check on passenger side, things work fine. They do extend, so you can move them back and forth. You got a huge trailer or not, it's whatever. This truck has 300,000 miles on it. I don't tell much of it, so I'm not too concerned. There you go. This is uh, get in the truck, make sure all the mirrors work out, and um, you're done. About maybe a 20, 30 minutes all.